Good morning, my lovely people. How are you doing? Well, this morning when I stood up, it was finally there after two days of waiting, after it was released already for the Pixel devices and as well for uh, the Note 10 Plus. And I'm talking about official Lineage OS 19.1 for the Samsung, in my case, Galaxy S10. Now, um, you will all be like, wow, let's go ahead and download it and install it. But um, in Holland, you say, dan ga je van een koude kermis thuis komen. And that means that you will come home from a cold circus act. <laughs> And what does that mean? Well, it means that Lineage OS 19.1 won't be installable for those that are even running Android 13, just like me, GSI, um, on the phone, because they will all run into error one. So how to fix error one when you try to install Lineage OS 19.1 that was released this morning, just now. Well, my friends, Lineage OS 19.1 is depending on the latest vendor of the phone. Now we all know that Samsung brought Android 12 to the Samsung Galaxy S10. But if you were one of these people just like me, that almost six months ago when I got this phone, um, you know, we jailbreaked it, uh, rooted it, and well, rooted it, we installed Twerp, and we upgraded to yeah, a custom build that was out there. That in fact, this won't work because um, the Lineage OS 19.1 is built for devices that have the latest vendor from Samsung installed. So how to get to the latest vendor of Samsung? Well, we will have to install the official first and then, you know, do the complete thing. So in this video, you're gonna learn how to uh, restore your phone back to official, where to get the firmware with the highest speeds possible ever. Um, you're as well gonna learn how to install Twerp the right way after you from official want to install Lineage OS 19.1 without getting error one. Um, then you as well gonna be covered in this video. So you're gonna see the complete thing. So welcome again to channel 48. Get ready for a bit longer study video. If you never did this before, for those that did this before, it will be a piece of cake. Enjoy the video. And as well, I want to give a big thumbs up to Linux for the developer of this build that you're gonna see in this video. Ladies and gentlemen, and meanwhile, uh, I will send you to samfw.com uh, where you can go ahead and download the latest build uh, for your Samsung phone. Yeah, just uh, type your model. I am the 973. You see that all the builds of the Samsung Galaxy S10 here you can download at Sam fw.com please remember this because if you're gonna go to any other site um, yeah it will be very slow the downloads okay create an account here link your google uh, drive to it or any google drive that you have you know it does not have to be your your daily account and then you'll be downloading uh, firmware with the highest speeds possible you know from from the internet and that for samsung it's it's unbelievable so this site is is amazing these are my brothers this is not advertisement that i'm making i don't make advertisement for things that people ask me to do you know how i am and most of the times don't do it uh, i only advertise what i think that is good and sam fw is very very good
how to get into download mode with this phone. You must press volume down. How was it again? Oh yeah, volume down and big C like that. And then you push in the thing and you keep holding. And now we are in a download mode. You see that peeps? And then with volume up, you are in an actual download mode. So now what we need to do now, ladies and gentlemen, is get Odin. Hey, Nihau. You see the blue comfort is connected. Let's open the SAM FW folder. In there, you're gonna for find four files, okay? So what you should now do is create a new folder. Android 12 official S10. I only have one S10, so it's all good. And then we open the folder, and then we copy these files to the folder. We unpack to the folder. And once again, a big thanks to SamFW.com because if we would not have SamFW.com, then probably this video, I would show it later in the evening, you know, because it takes like five hours to download from uh, Sam Mobile. And if you don't have an account, and if you don't know how to do all these puzzles, you won't be able to, to download, I think, anything. These guys are such a relief, eh? All right, so we are finally at the flashing part. As you can see, the COM4 is on, so that is good. My goodness. Okay, let's go to D. Android 12 S10. We select the bootloader. Now we select CP. We select CSC. I'm not gonna select anything in user data and in AP. We're gonna grab the AP that's the biggest and that will take a little to load. It might even lock up the screen a bit that is gonna say not responding don't worry don't close the app okay this is the official way how to restore your phone back well the official way uh, i'm not using that other tool from samsung i don't know even what it's called i'm always using Arden, and this is for me my official way how to restore any samsung phone back to official with Arden. we have Arden in all sorts of versions as you could see for the Samsung Galaxy S2, you're not gonna use this this build. You're gonna use the older build that knows the Samsung Galaxy S2 because it was made in the time of the S2. So all these things are important to know. I'm using the latest build of Arden, and that is a 314. I'm not even sure if it's the latest build, but it's one of the latest. I think a flashing would as well go right with 3111. But I'm going for 314. You see how long it takes? I'm showing you. So you have an idea. So you don't worry. Because some people will say, oh, it's not responding. Ah, damn it. And start cursing. You know? Don't, don't don't do that go make some coffee or so do something uh, that will relieve the stress of waiting was you as well scared the thing costed you uh, a thousand bucks 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 and you don't want to kill it I fully understand. So that's why you should not be stressed. And just let it load. It's taking a little bit longer. 
because yeah, it's a big file. It was a file of five gigabytes zipped. So unzipped, it will be even a bit bigger. And I'm low on this space. So that is as well something that, and it's maybe wise to close all windows. That saves us some memory again. As we know, Firefox is very demanding. Close, close your browser and wait. There it is, it arrived, you see that? So we're gonna maximize the screen. It's already maximized. And we're gonna hit start. Now, if you're, um, if you're uh, a, a new user, oh no, that is in the next step. We're gonna hit start. Let's see what's gonna happen. Is it? I think we have progress, yes, we do have progress. The restoring started, peeps. And at this point, nothing should go wrong. Eh? So you should not uh, touch your cable now. I'm using an extension, as you can see. I'm using a little extension there. And a normal USB cable from Samsung, official. Because yeah, some cables, they don't work too good. And you don't want to get the error here, eh? here in the middle. You don't want anything to happen. So that's why I as well turned off my internet. So my hacker friends must wait before they can enter into my system again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you know, I cannot take no chances at this point. This is a very scary process. A little touch of that of that black block and the connection breaks and it's too noom and, and your phone could die forever. Maybe not, maybe you can put it in the download mode again, but I don't want to try. I did that sort of experiments long time ago. I don't like to do these things anymore. Because sometimes I really break devices and they never worked ever again. I still have them. Look, the vendor, you see? I need that image. I need that image. Oh, peeps, welcome back. Yeah, my, my memory was full. Uh, but it installed, it rebooted, and uh, everything went right. We got the pass here. green pass okay amazing the fender is updated so now uh, i'm just gonna boot the phone and go through all the questions i'm not gonna film that all and i'll see you back in the settings don't forget to connect to the internet first before you're gonna do anything else whenever you reach the desktop you are all set up okay this looks good <laughs> this is the bridge that we need to Lineage OS about the phone. And then we go to uh, software information. And then we go to build number and we tap it. We enable developers options. We go to back. And here we're going to find developers options. And then we need to make sure that um unlocking is turned on. Here, you see that? Um unlocking. It arrived and it's turned on so that means we are good to go and we're gonna turn off the phone power off power off remove the power okay so thank you so much Arden Chai Cheng now head up to twerp.me and get your build for the beyond LTE or the beyond one LTE depending on the device that you have out there 
and that is actually supported by lineage os <laughs> so first look if your device is supported before you're gonna <laughs> restore everything because you might then get disappointed all righty so uh, the files that we need is the twerp and we need a phoebe meta uh, and thanks for these two files goes to corsica new so i'm gonna get these files and then i'm gonna get back to you Okay, welcome back. So we are in the download mode. And, uh, okay. Let's restore this reset. In Ordin, we grab the twerp for the Beyond 1 LTE to AP. And in CP, we select the Phoebe Meta. Okay. And now, for all you newcomers we're gonna turn off auto reboot here in options okay peeps so we download uh, twerp latest we select ap for the twerp and cp for the vb meta okay and we turned off in options auto reboot so let's see what's gonna happen we're gonna flash it start oh we are not connected all right so now we're connected start look it's saying pass so now we're gonna with volume down and power we're gonna turn off the device but we keep our thumb on the big C because the moment the screen turns off, we go to volume up, big C down, and power, and we see the logo, we let go. And now we got a nicer message without all the red, and we press power to continue. Oh, here it is. And we should now get into twerp. You see, we now installed twerp. So now, um, oops, sorry for that. And now we're gonna go ahead, open twerp, wipe, we're gonna format data. Why should you format data? Because it's encrypted. But we updated the vendor already. So now we're gonna reboot back into recovery. And we hit the power to continue. Here we can exit, we are done with Odin. And now finally, we can copy Lineage OS 19, the newest released version today, to Lineage OS 19, no, nightly, beyond one LTE, signed, peep, signed. <laughs> So there we go, finally, finally, we can install it, peeps. Where's the S10? Come here, baby. And let's put you on the drive. Mm -hmm. So this is a long video, I know, but, you know, I must show the people how they must install it, though. Otherwise, they're going to say Lineage OS is not good. But it's more than good because it's made for the latest fender so it's not building on the old fender and that is good for security reasons for so many reasons it's good so now we can install without getting error one ladies and gentlemen <laughs> can i have applause please thank you that is for lineage os and the applause as well for Samsung and for Sam FW and for Twerp and for Corsica Nu for the Phoebe Meta and for the Twerp because that is by Corsi Monsieur Corsica Nu I think he's from Hungary Hungary not sure but from that neighborhood. 
He's one of the android gods, you know. Amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're going to take a look at now is the very first boot up of the today release Lineage OS for my Samsung Galaxy S this S10. Jawohl. And I'm very happy to show it. Tutum. Lineage OS was before the Tutum. Lineage OS was like, what? No, 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 no. We're going to be faster than the Tutum. What Tutum? Look at that. Eh, eh. We saw this uh, already coming to us thanks to, yeah, thanks to uh, Ivan Miller with the beautiful Android 12 for S8. I hope it's going to become uh, official one day. I think soon you're going to see Ivan Miller will be team at Lineage OS as well and i think the next build that's why iphone waited <laughs> iphone is smart because soon his other build will come out his unofficial build for the s10 don't restore oh oh that's a treasure eh? mm -mm 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 -mm. beautiful Look at, look, look at the dancing there for you. Huh? It's dancing. So there we are. I think that uh, iPhone is going to build a signature spoofing uh, build for this device. Soon we're going to have micro G builds as well for this device. E -e -e. And as well for other devices eh, that will get... Uh, 19.1 so this is the very very latest ladies and gentlemen uh, to make everything a little bit bigger i will make the icons a little bit bigger as well on the desktop i'm gonna big up the screen and i will big up the text a little bit you see nice and big text man big phone big text you know you don't have big people with small <laughs> with small hands. <laughs> Maybe they are, they are, probably they are. You know. Look at that. The very first Lineage OS 19.1, ladies and gentlemen. It's so amazing to have this today in my hands you see i made the icons a little bit bigger they look even better now don't you think so let's uh remove this one and let's take a look at the gadgets which i'm gonna remove this one too uh, let's take a look at the gadgets widgets i mean widgets i call them gadgets these are widgets widgets my friend widgets two widgets analog clock oh okay so no uh, no fancy widgets okay it doesn't have to we can do that ourselves so we put that one back make it a little bit smaller nice lovely baby oh 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 oh, oh look at that so here we can have all our little toggles this is so sweet very lovely everything works nice uh, can we make a phone call? It works. You can make phone calls. Um, your music player. Lovely. Looks as well. Nice and updated. Um, our gallery no pictures because we formatted the system we have a brand new lineage OS phone at this point camera lovely 
lovely. As well, lovely. Um, how do we get away from here? Oh, yeah, yeah. And by sliding like this, you can see the resolution of the video 4K HD. Selfie cam is full HD, and the back camera the front camera however you want to call it this camera here is 4k so yeah this is uh the very first uh and newest lineage os uh, android 12 that you can get for your samsung galaxy s10 i as well want to give a special thanks to linux 4 because thanks to the updated website we can now see who the uh, developer is so big up linux 4 uh, saw some works from you on xda i will check them out um yeah thank you for uh, your work that you did on this build uh, thank you corsi kanu for the uh, for the twerp and the vb meta and of course, thank you LineageOS for being there. Uh, I'm testing my applications installed, the uh, Aurora store, and yeah, everything works works the way it should work. It feels even smoother, but I think that's because of the of the um, of, of the new fender. You know, it feels so so very very smooth. Really, it feels like amazing. So you're gonna love this, really. So go ahead, install it, and uh, let me know uh, in the comment sections uh, what you think of this amazingly beautiful Lineage OS build. Well, that was it. If you as well successfully installed Lineage OS 19.1 uh, official to your S10, big up to you, congratulations. I want to say Linux 4, thank you so much for the development for this device big up to you maximum respect um and of course linux os as well merci beaucoup i salute as usual and uh, yeah then i wish you good luck with you know linux os 19.1 on your phone it was a bit a hassle uh, those that were still on the original firmware and on at least android 12 official they could you know easily just install twerp and vb meta don't forget about the vb meta um don't forget about it. it's very important otherwise it won't work uh, and so yeah we ended up with finally installing android 12 to the samsung galaxy s10 and it looks so amazing it looks so nice so for now i'm gonna leave it on android 12 because my polish friends always say to me it's better to install a rom that is ported to the device than a gsi and uh, he keeps saying it to me so i'm gonna play safe and be on android 12.1 official and yeah soon we will get lineage os 20 but hey easy easy no man easy no man for now we have 12 and i'm very very grateful so i wish you all a very beautiful day be nice to yourself and your family and especially to your samsung galaxy s10 running lineage os official i salute and you'll be seeing me in the next video again at least if you subscribe and you turn on the bell notifications you don't have to you know sometimes i upload many videos and you might get you know annoyed from me i always get annoyed when i look oh he uploaded the video again mm. you know so don't turn on bell if you're not interested in daily uploads um but if you are um, smash that bell and don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up because we successfully upgraded to Linux OS 19.1 without getting error 1.